go to your priority and set this to extreme low so now what will happen is that your gpu so the game is actually using no fraction of your gpu so what's up people and welcome back so today i'll share with you my story about how i reduced the shader loading time in the last of us part one for pc so a lot of guys are facing problems like right from the beginning of the game when you start the game it starts to load the shaders and if you try to play the game it will play but you'll encounter occasional stutters like the video i uploaded yesterday while the shaders are being loaded i was able to play the game but again there was occasional stutters here and there so first of all you run the game uh, first of all you don't run the game i am running the game just to show you some things because i'm recording this whole thing and it, so first of all go to your start i think i hope many of you know these settings uh, just go type in graphics and you'll see one graphic settings over the top uh, at first it will be on if you haven't used this so you'll turn this on after turning on you'll see one thing is that uh, you have to add the game here there will be three files inside the steam folder so after you, you first you have to locate where your game is so if you don't know where your game is so first of all go to your steam library here is the steam library and here on you to search the game it will be already added if you have purchased it and go to manage and select browse local files so here you'll see all the files here so here the main thing is that you will know the location of the game here is the location from d drive program file x86 steam in the bottom and there is the steam apps you have to find steam apps there it is common and here all the games will be there so the last of us part one so on the graphic settings you have to find that part so you have to just click on browse and i have already added this so it will be easy for me but if you haven't added simply go to i'm showing it again d drive program files x86 and go to steam and then go to uh steam apps in the bottom steam apps then go to common and then the last of us part one here you have to add the launcher the last of us part one this is one and this is, again there are two applications so you have to add both of them uh if you add all three of them after adding all three of them it will show up like that so in each of this you have to go to options and select high performance amd gpu whichever gpu you have and if you are having an intel gpu the chances are it might also show you the intel gpu here also so don't accidentally select the intel one select always the nvidia or the amd which is the better one Just click on save do that again for the second and third i hope 99 percent of people have already done that okay so after doing that so this is the first step here so now what we'll do here is that we'll open the control panel of the amd system but this is for amd only i have an amd graphics card so i am not sure about nvidia but nvidia might also have that same tuning option for increasing the power limit so here it is so here in the bottom you'll see power tuning by default it will be disabled okay so you just turn it on and set the power limit to seven percent by default it will be zero so setting the power to 7 doesn't mean that it will consume more power but it will actually use more power when it needs to because we need more headroom for the shaders to load that's what the main problem is and this is after doing that click on apply i'm um, already done that and again you have to get to the amd control panel let's see here So here what you have to do is select radeon chill and reduce the in-game fps to 30 fps after closing this you have to go in game go to your display settings and select the resolution to bare minimum and also select the scaling mode to bare minimum and click on apply click on yes that's now everything looks blurry now get back and get to graphics and select it to extreme low so now what will happen is that your gpu so the game is actually using now fraction of your gpu like uh, 20 percent gpu whereas it will show more well it's not readable because everything is set to bare minimum and lastly go to your task manager on here you'll see processes so in here you see go to on the top over here you just select go to details here you will see the last of us 1.exe which is the main exe you are running go to your priority and set this to below normal okay so the priority the cpu priority is decreased because already you have seen that cpu is being used more so if more cpu is being used so more load will be on the cpu side rather than the gpu side that's why the gpu usage is around like 
40 percent 50 percent where the cpu is actually more in my case it's more 70 percent 80 percent whereas in other games in 2k in red dead redemption i saw in 2k everything maxed out cpu was only in 28 percent so cpu is not a bottleneck for me so that's the this is the last step here but uh, after i did this i've uh, now i'll tell you what happened before then i'll tell you after what happened so in the before i was when i was first started the game then what i noticed is that it took roughly uh, more than an hour like one hour 45 minutes to get from zero to 40 percent and after it reaches 40 percent it actually uh, from 40 to 100 it took only 20 minutes so you keep that in mind i think uh, most of you have just left it over there and they forgot and then said it automatically happened after two hours but most of you doesn't know that it it, it takes like from uh, zero to forty percent it takes one hour 45 minutes roughly depending on your system if it's a 4090 uh, graphics card or an rx 7900 xdx so it might take less time like a, like an hour but in my case it's a 6750 xd is that that to the oc version is overclocked so that's with that it's taking one hour 45 minutes to reach 40 percent and from 40 to 100 it's taking only 20 minutes so after doing all this trick it took less than an hour to reach 40 percent and again from 40 to 100 percent it took roughly 20 minutes so i'll say it roughly took one hour 15 minutes for the shader to load in my system after i did this trick nothing has been changed from their side it's still the same uh, it's just a feeling like oh there's an update it might now be fast but no it's not fast i after the update 1.0.1.7 .1 i thought it will be fast i thought they have actually changed everything but no a 3000 rupees game or like 40 a 40 dollar game and having such problems is it's shame it's a very shameful thing even gotham knights was uh you know better it was better hogwarts legacy was better what can i say all the bugs if are paying for such a huge amount and then you're getting encountering bugs well i got it for free uh nothing to complain about now you guys you must get, you might be saying like oh you got this game for free eh? how are you complaining well you know it's a game and i'm just spending my time that's the main thing and there's one more uh, there will be one more thing i'll be ma making one more video about how i got the game for free so if any if you bought a new uh, amd gpu any 6000 or 7000 gpu then you will get this game for free so keep that video in mind i'll be sharing that video with you so till then, so these are all the settings you need to do and till then I'll see you in my next video.